I'm certified nutrition consultant, Catherine with Food to Heal You. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make your green fruit smoothie in your detox program, or if you have my foods that heal book. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the most basic recipe, show you the best way to do that, and then I'm going to talk about some optional add-ons if you're interested in adding some additional ingredients, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. The first, the four ingredients you're going to need are water, frozen banana, you're gonna to wanna to peel your banana before you put them in the freezer. A frozen banana, I have blueberries here. Berries work the best because you're going to put leafy greens in there. I have a little bit of spinach here. I'm running low, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use the, what I have left of the spinach here. You can get kale. I recommend if you're a beginner, you start out with spinach or romaine lettuce, something like that that's a bit milder taste until you adapt and get used to having greens in there. And then you can graduate to something more concentrated or stronger like kale, okay, or collard greens. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to blend the spinach or the greens in your with the water first, okay? The reason you wanna do that is because the greens take up a lot of space when they're not blended. But after you blend them, you'll have plenty of room for your other ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these in here. Now, like I said, I don't have a lot left. I normally would really cram this thing full. So what you can do is you can tamper it down, you know, push it down. I would literally fill this as full as I can with greens. And then you're gonna pour some water in there. Now, I do not use almond milk or coconut milk for my berry smoothie because of the food combining. So it's best to use water for this particular recipe. I think I would put about eight or 10 ounces. You really have to play with the amount of liquid depending on how thin or thick you want your smoothie. All right, and I don't have the blade. Let me pause for a second here and find the blade. Okay, I got the blade. I'm going to pop this on here and I'm going to blend the greens first and show you just how much difference it makes because see, there's not very much room in there right now. Okay, so see, it only took like literally two seconds to blend that up. And look at that, look how much room is in there now. There's tons of room for our bananas, our blueberries, and whatever else we decide to put in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the banana in there. I've only got one banana in this particular smoothie. You can make your smoothies bigger if you have a bigger blender or a bigger container. And then I'm gonna throw, I've got a little measuring thing in here. I'm gonna throw in some blueberries. As you can see, this is really simple. I'm gonna put the blade back on here. I'm going to blend this, because it's gonna take a little bit longer blend. I'm gonna put, put, pause the video, blend this so you don't have to listen to this, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I blended the spinach, the blueberries, the banana, and the water, and my smoothie, my basic green fruit smoothie is ready to drink, okay? Mine's pretty thick here. Now what I'm going to do is review some additional ingredients that you can add for sweetness, flavor, nutrients, you know, just to blast it with nutrients, okay? So the first option would be stevia. This is one of the most common ingredients that people are gonna add, especially if you're using kale. What I like, sweet leaf stevia. I will have a link on the web portal uh, to, to Amazon so you can see where to get this. You can also get it at Whole Foods, but just so you have a place to look for it. You're only gonna need a few drops of this, maybe maybe five max, it's really sweet. All right, so I just add a few drops of that. Another ingredient that you can add would be fulvic ionic minerals. I have this on my website as well. What this does is it helps nutrients get into the cell. So all of the wonderful nutrition in this smoothie, the fulvic minerals, are, there are they are a full spectrum of trace minerals, but they also help make the cell wall more permeable so permeable so those nutrients can get into the cell so you can follow the instructions on the bottle it's about 10 drops per serving i'm just going to put about five drops because this is a smaller smoothie all right another ingredient you can add is oceans alive i'm not going to add oceans alive to this smoothie because i've already got spinach in there and i put the oceans alive in my hemp seed banana smoothie. That's what I use in my hemp seed banana smoothie, but you can 
put it in a smoothie. If you just want to make this a super nutrient dense smoothie, by all means, go ahead and add a dropper full of the Ocean's Alive. And then another ingredient we have here are tasty CBD tasty drops. If you're wanting to use CBD to help you deal with, for example, with anxiety or stress throughout the day, you can add this to your smoothie. This is on my website, foods that heal you CBD. Dot com. I know some people have trouble. I have two websites, so this is on a different website, but you can find that. You can add a dropper full of the Tasty Drops in there. Um, another ingredient would be cinnamon. For those of you who like cinnamon, you can add cinnamon in there. This is great for balancing blood sugar. It's also very good for helping um, increase the digestive fire because when you drink cold foods, then they're going to chill the digestive system. You can heat basically heat up that smoothie by adding something like cinnamon or ginger would work, cayenne pepper would work. If you're having troubles with your digestive system, this is a way to heat that digestive system back up and get it functioning even better. And then the last ingredient and my most favorite would be cacao. I have cacao nibs here um, and I've mixed it with cacao powder. You can also use uh, what to call carob, raw carob powder if you can't have cacao. But you want to make sure that it doesn't have sugar and stuff like that in it. You really want cacao, not cocoa. All right, so there we have it. I have added some things to my smoothie. I'm going to need to add more water because it's going to be too thick for the blender. I'm going to blend that up real quick and be right back with you. Okay, there you have it. My smoothie is done, ready to drink, and really tastes awesome. Make sure if you're making a green smoothie that you make it big enough for breakfast so that you're not hungry as you go through the day. Another ingredient that you can add in here to help sustain you throughout the morning would be like a quarter or a half of an avocado. Okay, so that works well with the proper food combining as well in here. All right, hope this video helped you better understand the best way to make a green smoothie and you can get creative with the different types of fruits and berries. I just strongly recommend do not add the hemp seeds or protein powders or anything like that to the smoothie. Once you have the berries and the fruit in there, you want to make sure that you're sticking with just fruit and the ingredients that I've talked about here. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.